Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Um, happy birthday. I hope you're all doing amazing. I know it's been a while, but I am back and ready to give you these messages. So this is your message for February 2023. And we are in the Aquarian age. So things are about to get weird. They're about to get interesting. Um, new perspectives, things are changing, people are thinking differently. I think we're all very much more enlightened and awakened than we've ever been in the world and that's something that I personally am very happy and excited about because people like us, um, I'm an Aquarius rising by the way, um, I think we deserve to kind of show what we're all about and I don't think that we have a loud enough voice just yet but I think that people that practice spirituality um, and, you know, other tarot readers, I think they're kind of, we're making, you know, our, our effort to kind of show that there's more to the world, you know, there's more than one dimension. And I don't know why I'm going on a tangent, but I know you guys understand. So let's get into it. Right, four of pentacles, three of pentacles. I feel like you guys are being very picky with who you give your energy to, who you give your effort to. You're kind of staying a little bit more reserved into yourselves right now when it comes to other people. Uh, maybe in the workplace, you're kind of like not really sure um, of who you should be talking to, who you should be open with. So I feel like you're kind of guarded right now. Okay, the world. Uh, so you're showing up here in your in your reading. Um, honestly, I think that the world is really speaking to all the new perspectives and all the changes that are going on during this time. Um, Aquarius is kind of like your energy is the energy of all the world right now, you know. And I don't know how else or how best to describe that, but we're all kind of shifting to seeing things so differently. Than before and i feel like you're breaking traditions as well i feel like you're creating things in in your own life that other people have not been able to i feel like you're setting trends and you're just changing the way that you want to see things happen knight of cup yeah i think that you're really putting a lot of effort into this you're putting a lot of passion you're putting a lot of yourself into this and um, you know, you could be also dealing with a water sign or you could be attracting someone. There could be some sort of love situation, but definitely passion is involved. I think that there's something here about moving with intention, moving with this sort of sincerity that only you know how to bring to something. Okay, two of pentacles. And the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with two suitors, you know, with this Knight and the, wow. And then the, imp, the Emperor at the bottom as well. So we got the Emperor, Fire Energy, Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, and Knight of Cups, Water Energy. Two of Pentacles though. So are you making a choice between two people? Are you making a choice between two directions? I feel like... The ball is in your court, Aquarius. I feel like you have two potential suitors that want to be your emperor. And we are not specifying whatever gender because everyone is represented here. The point is that you're making a decision between two things, whether it's two people, two places, two opportunities. There is so much right now that you have to consider before you make this decision. And I think that that's why the Four of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles showed up because there is this guarding energy before you make this interaction or, you know, before this takes place, before this happens. There's a need to kind of safeguard your emotions so that you don't, you know, make the wrong choice or, you know what I'm also getting? Not making a choice based solely on emotions so and ironically uh one of my best friends 
is an Aquarius and he told me one day, do not make a choice based fully and solely on emotions, you know, um, or he kind of, you know, he brought that to my attention one day. And that is something that I have kept with me for, you know, as long as I can remember. And this was forever ago, years ago, but he said that to me and I have held on to it ever since because it makes so much sense. When we make decisions that are purely based on emotion, sometimes we don't make the right one. And honestly, if there's anyone that knows that, I think it's you. I mean, you know, he was an Aquarius, so obviously he knew what he was talking about. With the chariot, again, water sign energy could be dealing with a cancer. Um, chariot and the ten of pentacles and the two of swords. It's like, it's like you know that whatever choice you make is going to affect you big time. It's going to set things in motion. The wheels are already turning. And your future, your happiness, your success, your legacy, it's all going to be affected by this decision. But you just don't really know what to do just yet. But there's definitely something big in the works here. This decision has to do with you making the right one. You know, it's like if you choose one thing, everything else in your life is going to be affected by that. And if you choose the other, it's the same thing. It's like... What I'm getting is that there are two completely different choices. But the Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, they're both knights. They're both passionate. There's a lot of energy there. The movement is just kind of the same, but one is a little bit more intense and faster. And this is alluding to the fact that these two choices are very different. You know, in essence, they're very different. And your life could change depending on which way you go. So that's kind of exciting, I won't lie, but also it does kind of, you know, maybe keep you in a place of, wow, this is a big, big choice, big decision. Um, I got to make the right one. And the strength keeps popping up here um, at the bottom of the deck, no matter how many times I shuffle. So... I think that this is also speaking to the fact that something here is kind of testing how strong you are. How um, in tune are you with your, you know, emotions, but how, it's like, how, let's see, how do I explain this? It's like, you want to prove to yourself that you are emotional and you have emotions and they're strong ones, but you also want to prove to yourself that you're not going to make decisions based on them. You don't want to appear heartless. But you also don't want to appear too vulnerable or give in too easily. And I think that that is kind of depicted here by both the lion and, um, you know, the, the woman here. I think there's a duality. There's a balance here of, you know, beauty and the beast or, you know, fire versus fire versus water. I mean, this is truly you knowing what is better for you specifically in your life right now and you know you want to make a decision that is based on how you feel but you don't want the emotion to control your you know what you do i hope i'm making sense let's see one more Okay, we got two more. So we got the High Priestess and the Ten of Swords. I feel like you know deep down inside that you're going to make a decision based on emotion, but it's not because you want to. It's because you've been hurt in the past. Um, so you're trying to avoid it. You're trying to, or maybe that's the thing. You're trying to avoid making a decision based on your emotion because you know that if it happened in the past, it might happen again. So I think, you can, yeah, that's what I'm getting. So the key is to listen to your gut. There we go. That's, that's what I wanted to, okay. Listen to your gut. Your intuition is what is going to guide you to make the right decision. Your intuition, your gut, your inner voice, it is what is going to lead you to making that proper decision choice because you know what hasn't worked in the past 
And the only way that our intuition really is able to help us is when we have taken what we've learned from the past and we keep it inside and we don't just let it slip like a red flag. So notice the red flags. You're, you have two, two situations here, two people, two opportunities, and you have to make a choice. But something here is giving you insight. Your intuition is speaking to you and you, you have to listen to it. And that's how you should make your choice. All right, Aquarius, if you like this message, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.